The main skill sets that people are looking for are kind of split between data engineering and BI, which is what we work within. Um, as I mentioned, like a lot of companies are moving to cloud technology. So first and foremost, candidates with the cloud technology are a lot more desirable. Um, for a data engineer, it has kind of been a bit of a trend where they're more like from a software engineering background now. So a lot of companies implement uh, code development practices like test-driven development, unit testing, integra integration testing, which typically you'd see from a software engineer, not a data engineer. So a lot of data engineers now kind of follow the software engineering methods, but specifically for building a data pipeline or a data infrastructure. Advice I'd give to candidates in data engineering would be just make sure that you are as hard as you can be on development practices. So if you're not familiar or strong in unit testing or test driven development, that's something you can learn outside of work. So if you don't have the opportunity to learn that within your current role, um, do projects in your own time, incorporate unit testing and test driven development as that will really enhance your application. If you're trying to make yourself more desirable, the, the more kind of tech focused companies spend a lot of time uh, at meetups and kind of putting their brand and their name out there in the work they're doing. Um, we speak to candidates who will kind of quote us names of companies that they've come across at meetups that they'd be interested in working for. And if we do then work with those companies, it's a lot easier to get them engaged with the companies and get them interested in their role than if they haven't heard of the company or they're not aware of what they're doing on the technical front as well.